I got into boxing by accident. I wanted to get into shape. I was heavy. Working out was just a science and I didn't understand it. So I thought um, I wanted to do ballet. So I took ballet when I was a kid and you know, I had all the tutus and there's a ballet studio in this plaza. So this place was closed a couple times that I stopped by. A couple doors down was Sweeney's Boxing. Just kind of bebopped into the uh, boxing gym and the owner looks at me. How much do you weigh? I weigh like 180 pounds, 185 pounds. He's like, do you want to fight? And he said, I guess so, I don't know. I think he thought I knew how to do a lot more than I did. And I'm just so competitive that I was like, I'm not gonna quit on this guy. I wanted to throw up. I wanted to just pass out and die. And I just kept going like nothing was bothering me. I just faked it. But I guess if you can fake it with somebody who's been doing it for such a long time, like they know that you can really do it. Even though you don't believe that you can, they know you can. You have to be tough. You have to be mentally tough to be able to do this. There, This is no place for like willy-nilly feelings and it's, it's nuts. It's like crazy and we're all like that. We're all, it's just this huge chess game of figuring out your opponent but then you become your opponent. You become your enemy. You have to stay disciplined because this is, it's not easy to train. It's not easy, you know, you lose time with your friends, with your family. You know, work has to be, time has to be taken off, so it's got to be, it's got to be semi-worth it, a little bit. So I stay in the gym, I train, uh, if you're really making yourself a better person, if you're getting into the gym and keeping your body healthy and fit, if you're putting the right foods into your body and keeping yourself healthy and fit, you have no idea what kind of impact that's having on the next person. So stop focusing and trying to like do too much and focus on yourself, make yourself better.